What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. This should be the last video for the Touch Edition. We're gonna talk about Big Fish, Pop Cat, PC, and the pinball games. Cowabunga, let's kick shell, pizza power. So in total with Pop Cap and Big Fish, there's about 300 games to it. Um, if you don't know, like Big Fish is known for like their scavenger hunt games. Pop Cap is classic. I mean, you're talking like Zuma, and bejeweled and stuff so most of it um is touch reactive some of it you do need the mouse for um we're in big fish right now i think there's about maybe 10 pages uh worth of stuff and then luckily with like the picture file you could kind of tell what that game is um like you can see here like this is like a zuma edition with spongebob in it um turtle odyssey but you're gonna see a lot in this kind of category with big fish is mostly scavenger hunt games but you do kind of get a best of both worlds thing. Um, so real quick, I wanted to load up just to show you. So like Chameleon Gems, this is like Zuma. Um, with this, I've tried this. You definitely need the mouse um, to play this. I actually want to do a new game because this was just a test one. Um, so let's do start new game. We're going to go play. And I'll just show you real quick why you need the mouse. So for example, right now we have a yellow. I want to fire a yellow, let's say over here. It shot it and then move my character up. So as you can see right now, this is not working well with the touch. So you do need the mouse handy. This way you could spin the chameleon around and then shoot accordingly with that. So again, some games do need the keyboard and mouse, some games don't, but as you can see with this one, I highly suggest that you do have the mouse handy to enjoy this one. That's chameleon, let's exit out. Let's try to find a game that's good with the touch, which usually is the scavenger hunt ones. Um, I was playing, I do like the make the difference ones, um, find the difference, I should say. That's what I loved on um, the Mega Touch, but Magic Mirror Deluxe is one of those find the difference games. So same thing, you touch into it, let it load up. Now we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna do play story mode. Uh, Standard images, I guess. Let's do a new game. I was playing this before. So we're gonna go in. So this one definitely I know for sure works with the touch. There's no mouse needed for this. You could use the mouse, but you don't really need it. So like here, we're gonna find the difference. Got one. I got two, three. I like these games. It's, they're just very, uh, they're very fun. It just also gets on your nerves when you can't find it. <laughs> Somebody probably right now is watching the video and like, it's over there, Vic. I don't see it. <laughs> How many do I need? <laughs> I need one more. I'm gonna throw the hint, screw it. What? Oh, it's right here. So, I mean, again, this is like a find the difference type of game. So pretty cool. Again, this is a big fish game. Let's do one more. Oh, I could easily find the snowman. But yes, there you go. So you can menu and then you could exit out and quit out. Kind of close. And then basically it's gonna bring you back into the home screen. Uh, we could do another one just real quick. Uh, I know like a lot of these, like these, um, these are like actually story novels, but with find the object. So let's just see. Um, I don't know. There's so many to choose from, but uh, let's do, uh, I don't know, Echoes of the Past. Let's see what this is about. So I could play regular mode. I never played this before, so let's see. Again, most of these games I'm very sure you could use with just a touch screen. 
a game like Zuma, like you saw, you, you do need the mouse for. We'll let it load. So I could skip this intro. Calling me for helpful hints. Would you like interactive help? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> You'll find many items there. I'm gonna skip the tutorial. I should watch the tutorial, but I'm just gonna skip it. Again, I, when I was looking at it, like up on like Steam and such, this was like a uh, magic amulet must go here. Okay. This is why we should have read the tutorial. <laughs> oh, well, I have something I picked up. Okay, give me a hint, please. So I gotta put this here. As you can see, I have no patience. <laughs> So there you have it. This is like a point and click kind of story game to it. So again, big fish games on this. We could menu, we could exit out. Uh, exit. And boom, there you go. So quite a variety. Again, big fish you'll see a lot. And again, just pay attention to the pictures. See like this is a hidden game. Um, there's a couple of card games on this. You'll find more card games on uh, PopCap. Mahjong is a big deal too. That's also on PopCap, honestly, too. Um, SpongeBob, Diner Dash, it's cool. So now we'll talk about PopCap. So PopCap games, this is actually a mixture of PopCap games and Game House games. Um, again, it's almost like what would be inside the fun zone. This would be considered fun zone to me, but I did want to keep like, you know, the name of the company within its own. So again, you'll find a lot, um, some card games, um, card games meaning like, um, what do I want to say by card games? Um, like tri peaks and all that. Um, some bowling. This one actually does have a bowling game to it. Um, I think I have one with golf, which is pretty cool. But as you can see, there's a lot. There's 300 games with Big Fish and Pop Cap combined. Um, so here's like one with golf. I'll load up a golf game, but I kind of want to load up um, an old school game called a Chictionary. That was a word game, here it is. So again, pop cap, big fish games. So here we go. I always go for like the Easy ones first. Don't? I guess I need the apostrophe. <laughs> Names? Nope. Damn. I tried don't. Do we? So, I mean, again, you got a couple of word games on this, so we could exit out, we could quit out. Same thing with these games, there's usually a quit or an exit on the corners. Um, Chains is a pretty cool game. So we could press play. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, new game, there we go. And close. Oh, I'm sorry. New game, normal. Continue, here we go. So like this is like you have to connect the chains. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, big combo on that one. So there you go. I mean, that's, I don't want to bore you guys with that, but you know, pop cap, big fish games. You can do some research on what type of games they have, um, but it's, it's really cool. I mean, you can't really go wrong. You really can't get bored with this. Let's try the, let's try the golf one real quick. 
I'm not too sure if you do need a mouse and a keyboard for this, but we'll see. I mean, keep in mind, like, I don't test all these games. I just test to make sure that they boot. If they boot, then it's good to go. I put it on, but I've never tested. So let me use my mouse for this. Please click here to select golfer. So I have to now make a, a name. Okay. <laughs> oh crap, I think I'm starting to swing, okay. <laughs> so now here, like, you know, we could, I could, I'm gonna definitely probably quit this. Let me just see something, if we could enlarge the screen at all. Uh, we're gonna go back to menu. So no, like there's no way to enlarge the screen. So as you can see, that's one game, which is the Pin High Club. Um, I was gonna show one. I forgot which one I wanted to show. Uh, I think it was a bowling one. No, it was in the beginning. It was a letter A. I think it was under Big Fish. Let's see. Oh, here, like, I don't know how to pronounce that. A Tom Adders. This is like Galaga. Um, it was pretty cool. The touch was all right with it. Um, it just wound up with me just holding my finger on the screen. Um, but basically to navigate the control ship, I have to keep my finger on it. So see like that, I should probably use the mouse to navigate this. So start game, start game, start. Yeah, see? So same thing, you could probably use the mouse, which I probably would suggest you do. And then, you know, you could do that. Just keep in mind again, it's a touch screen. So it's like, if I touch it, it will kind of shoot the fire to it, see? I mean, some people will find a way of how to use it correctly, but like this isn't too bad. Just gotta wait for that missile to go through. Ooh, good shot. It's just like, see, like me moving it, I didn't want to fire the rocket. But again, that is what it is. And there you have it. So now with the keyboard, I have to press escape to stop playing, we go back, and then we go back and we can exit. And that's really it. Uh, Bejeweled is a very big classic. A lot of people know Bejeweled. Um, I know I had some uh, bowling one too. I think that was on the Big Fish though. I think it's called Gutter Ball. So we'll do Gutter Ball 2. Not many sport games, honestly, because it's a touch screen. You can't really expect too much uh, touch screen sport games, but Basically, got a ball will load. You can pick your arena. I'm just gonna press start. We'll do a single player for now. <laughs> That's the name. You can set your name, you can use the keyboard and such. So, I could throw the ball. Nice. Do it again. There you go, there's bowling. So we could exit out after the replay. Exit the game. And there you go, we're back. That's really it. I mean, pop cap, big fish games. There you guys have it. Uh, I'll throw in PC games also on this video, might as well. Um, not many PC games. Uh, the biggest thing that many people did suggest though was The Walking Dead. That's like, um, uh, what's the word I wanna use? Uh, storytelling kind of, uh, click uh same thing it's almost like pop cap and big fish that it's basically gonna it's gonna launch the executable of the game um not too many really point and click games available um current stuff i would say but at least you can kind of see it this again i believe i read this was like a very big game and it was like a game of the year type of game so uh i've never played it i never even tried it so so I could do like episodes, I guess. So like this, probably wanna like, we could probably press start. I'm pretty sure you could use the touch screen. You know what I mean? You see me using it. Um, maybe use the mouse for the menus. I'm just gonna try to figure out how to fast forward this so I don't bore you guys with it. So this now like simple touch kind of failed on us. 
you just could reopen it and then we go back to PC games. Um, hidden objects, we got Monopoly on this. We could load up one. Um, I was doing Angry Birds actually. We could do Angry Birds real quick. So we could press play. Go into here. Oh, I, didn't, I did that last time. <laughs> I should have done just the first world. So we press that. And then now here, like we can move it. I got the bird here. I'm gonna go here. Wow. <laughs> Redo. So I'll bring it back. One more time. I just randomly threw that. There you guys have it. I mean, everybody knows Angry Birds. Let's exit out. So menu, exit out, and we leave. Yes. Um, other stuff you could do. I mean, like I said, I, I have a couple of hidden object ones. Uh, you even have Elf Bowling. That's classic. I grew up on Elf Bowling. Um, Spaceland is a new one. Let's just, for kicks, I was playing with my wife, um, the Game of Life. That one. And again, basically it's launching an executable file. Well, so you can go press play. This is a game that me and my wife are playing. So you can really press blue spins. Make your move, so you gotta press the car. That's cool, there you go. So that's PC games, that's a couple of them. We're gonna quit the game. We're gonna quit the desktop, and then it brings it back. House of Da Vinci's new uh, Spaceland was pretty cool too. I'll launch that real quick. And you could basically go on Steam and, and get more games. Just basically wanna look for um, point and click type of games. So I was playing this before. So let it load, do its thing, there we go. I think I had to go through here. This is like a turn-based type of game. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna skip the dialogue. So we go through the door, we press okay. We're gonna, yeah, see, so now this is like a turn-based thing, so I have to wait for him. See, opponent's turn. I'm gonna shoot him. We're gonna advance. Again, that's, again, we're aiming for point and click PC games on this. So if I go to settings, I'm gonna go to quit, and I'll basically exit. Last thing we'll talk about is pinball. So we have Pinball FX 2 and 3. There's two games, but within each game is about maybe 20 to 30 tables. Um, I'll launch Pinball FX3 real quick. And it's pretty cool how they made this design to be worked with a touchscreen. And it recognized the touchscreen, which is awesome. So we'll let it load up. We enter in. This definitely is a game that we don't need to use a keyboard and mouse for. You could literally navigate the screens. Uh, we were just playing The Walking Dead before. Might as well play it on this. Why not? And again, there's audio. So I could probably bring up real quick. I don't want to go too much into it. Because as you can see, I can kind of spaz out. Let's do this. So the way this is that on the right side, see? It tells you to drag your finger for that. You can even change the camera angle. And you can also pause the game here. So let's do some of this. Let's play. So three, two, one. We're going to launch the ball. Have I missed anything? And again, using the left and right. Oof. Try to hit that zombie. Yes, I wanted to hit him. <laughs> oh. <Be safe. laughs> 
Then you got your DMD here and all that. So now we can pause out. Uh, we can exit this. We could definitely go back and we could try a different game. Um, again, this is Pinball FX3. Um, so we even have like the Williams tables. Uh, so we could try, I don't know. Thank you. Single player. It's cool, it gives you a little bit of overview of the table, what it looks like, some achievements. So I don't like this camera view, I like to get a little bit closer. Again, you got your DMD here. Ah. <laughs> the only thing you can't do is tilt. You just can't tilt Game the machine. Cost. So we'll exit out. And, my collection. and I'll show Game you real quick uh, Pinball FX2. So this brings it back. We're going to go into Pinball FX2. Pinball FX3 has some tables that were on Pinball FX2. Um, but Pinball FX2 had a couple of add-ons like Aliens. Um, it also had like a football club thing for soccer. So same thing, we have our tables here. Like, I don't think I saw Plants vs. Zombies in Pinball FX3, I could be wrong, but let's try it. Same thing, I recognize the touch screen. Change the camera angle. Dang. <laughs> it's cool. If you don't know Pinball FX, it's awesome stuff. So you can pause it, we can exit out. Exit main menu. And there's a couple, there's more Star Wars ones. Like I said, this Super League football. This Super League one you're not gonna find on Pinball FX3. Um, FC Barcelona. It's the Barcelona. FC Barcelona. Level, there are no easy games, but I don't see anything else other than a victory here today. Cool, like you see the attention to the detail, the pinball, the soccer ball. <laughs> they could lose the ball here if they're not careful. It's cool, got a little bit of graphics to it. You pause out, you exit out, and there you have it, pinball.